Hey everybody. Civil liaison, Clark Isaac. I am here in, can I say it? I'm in Christopher Satterwhite's home in Baja, California. I will not give our exact location, but I will tell you this. I am with one of my brothers who has made Exodus from Babylon. And he has come here through his own free will, as all of us have. Uh, at least not all of us might admit it openly. <laughs> but some of us uh, would love to admit it publicly. And I hope that when my brother's uh, ready and he feels like it's a good time, I think he's just watching me right now just to see. But he, he wants to come in and say hi to everybody when he gets the chance. Hey guys, if you want to learn some spirituality, you listen to this guy. And he this know, guy, and, he, and, and he all knows, the others. He knows what he's talking about. Okay, but when he feels like he wants to, um, he can join in any time. He's right here with me. And like Chris, a lot of us are here together under the same banner of love and truth and justice that we all feel within our hearts. We pursue this cause, and that's why we're here, and that's why we follow Lord Rael. Really, that's what brings us to Exodus from Babylon, because Babylon is the place, spiritually, physically, mentally, that is the opposite of our virtues. What causes us to follow Lord Rael? Babylon opposes that. So whenever anyone might feel like, oh, you know, I don't want to leave because of this, that, and the other, those are simply temptations that try to keep you there. A lot of people will say that's the devil trying to deceive you, but really, that is your own failing within you. And each of us, human beings, we each have our own failings. And the only way to come closer to God is by overcoming the failings that are within each and every one of us. So every day, we all face those frailties, those imperfections. And if we don't face them, we don't overcome them. And if we don't face them to overcome them, we can't repent. We were talking yesterday about repentance. Part of coming to Baha is repentance. They go hand in hand. Because what you're doing is to repent, you make a sacrifice within your life. Maybe even a sacrifice within yourself as a person to make a change. Repentance is making that change within yourself to become closer to who you want to be in virtue. So, in order to repent, if you're in Babylon, the best way to do that is simply leaving Babylon. I know it sounds like a little bit kooky, but it's the truth. And you won't understand and fully know the truth unless you try it yourself. So... Simply leave the country, for those of you that haven't, of course you don't know the full truth of it, but for those of you that have, you know what I'm talking about. When you leave the United States, it's a completely different feeling. And if you don't know about it, you haven't experienced it, ask somebody. I'm pretty sure you know somebody who's left the country. Simply ask them about that. How do they feel about leaving the United States? Really, ask them. They'll tell you. They'll tell you that it's a completely different feeling. It's almost like a weight is lifted off of us. And it truly is. It's a spiritual weight. Not everyone understands it right away. But you, as Raelites, you will understand it. And you will feel it. I promise you this. All of our people feel the same way about it. I can promise you that because we talk about it regularly. And we may not talk about it as much as we used to. But... When we have new people coming and they can relate to this, we talk about it fully and openly. But to us, it's like an everyday thing. And we kind of forget about it sometimes if we haven't been back to the States for a while. So we kind of like, oh yeah, that's like a distant part of our past. But if ever we get the opportunity to go back into the United States, we feel it again. That weight comes back down on us and we're like, oh God, I, I just want to leave. Please, God, get me out of here. And then we come back and the weight's gone again. And it's like, we're just so grateful to God for the experience of feeling like spiritually free of that place that's such a burden. It might not feel like a burden to you now because you're used to it. And that's like the, the slave shackle syndrome that you're feeling. You're used to the burden that your master has placed upon you. And a, mas a slave cannot serve 
two masters. Understand that. So consider who your master is while you're in Babylon, because it certainly is not the Lord. Understand. Before, before you consider doing anything else for the Lord, if you're in Babylon, leave. Remove those shackles that your master has imposed upon you. And then you will be able to serve your true master, Lord Rael. If you truly wish to follow him, prove to him that the master of that realm, Babylon, the master being Satan, is not your master. Prove to him. And then you can follow him correctly. I promise you that this is what's necessary in order for you to do that. I know a lot of people want to find a way around that. Maybe, you know, more than a few. There's no other way. Really. Because there's a battle that's going on within you. And the only way to overcome it, this Stockholm Syndrome, look it up, Google it, Stockholm Syndrome, you're going to see, after you overcome it, after you've stepped away from it, that you can see the light for what it truly is, the light of truth. I don't see any interaction on this page right now, so I want to bring in my brother Chris, and we're going to have a conversation with you about this topic, because he's been here this whole time, and he hasn't said a word yet, but I know he's got a lot brewing within him. I do. What you got? Stockholm Syndrome. Okay. This is my third exodus from the United States. Now, count that. One, two, three. Third exodus from the United States. When you make exodus and you come to Baja, there's literally a lifting of spirits. Like, the weight of the world is lifted off your shoulders literally and having been on the opposite opposite side of that going back to the United States when you cross over the border there's this pressure there's this weight of just I can't describe it honestly it's indescribable but me and my fiance we have experienced this you need to exodus immediately I cannot stress that enough immediately so why is that that people should should exodus immediately like what 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 are the dangers that they're facing right now that makes it have to be like they need to leave right now other than complete annihilation your government is lying to you your politicians do not give a shit about whether you live or die these are probably facts that you already know so how how can you draw any other conclusion than uh, looking at who you should trust in the alternative to your government the new kingdoms government perhaps exactly if if you follow world politics if you know what's going on it's not hard to discern what's going on the Lord has returned he is here to establish his new kingdom and if you want to be part of it, if you're in the United States, get out immediately. Come to Baja, come join us, and revel in the freedom like you've never experienced before. So, I mean, we're sounding kind of hardcore right now, but we can be friendly and fun at times too. I mean, we are a family. We do love each other. Um, it's not all doom and gloom. The reason why you're seeing this from us all the time is because we're warning people who are doing very little to nothing about it. We're really not trying to preach to the choir here. We're trying to get the choir to be in action. Come to where you are supposed to be, choir. Understand that Baha is not just for the clergy. Baha is also for followers. It's for everyone. It's for everyone. It's also for your family. It's for everyone that wants to be safe. Everyone you want to be safe, bring them here with you. And the best way to bring them with you is by coming here yourself first. You can't drag everyone down here with you, but you can provide a good example to them. And the best example is to actually do it yourself. 
and understand that there will be people who don't agree with you. There will be people who don't follow you at that very moment. But your faithfulness, your diligence, your drive to obey what the Lord has commanded years ago, to finally do it now, will set a precedence for his judgment of yourself and those that are close to you. He will judge you first, and then he will take your advisement, your wishes, your feelings into account, and he will look at those that you love through your eyes, and he will bring them closer to him through his truth. The obvious truth will be made apparent to everyone eventually, but that will be the point when it's too late for most everyone, except for those you love, if you're obedient. If you're not obedient, you may as well be standing beside everyone else who's disobedient and without knowledge. Because, now think about this, if you know what you're supposed to do, you have a responsibility to do what's right in every case. So, you can't expect your position to be anything but what it is to do what's right. And the Lord never told you to stay. The Lord never told you that your responsibility is to sacrifice yourself for some cause that you think is something beyond what you invented. Really. Quite the opposite. Exactly. The Lord told us all to leave. I'll tell you what. We would be back home if we thought we could save our family. If we thought that's what would save our family. We are here because we know this will save our family. Only obedience will save your family. That is it. We've got family we love too. And they're not here with us. We're not saying that they shouldn't be here with us. They really should. Really. I mean, it, it might spare them some discomfort. But we're here for them. Just as much as you're there for your family. But we're doing what we were told to do by a man that we trust. If you trust him too, you'll be here too. That's the simple truth of it. And we all see it that way. That's why we're here. And that's why we want you here. We want you to see the truth of that, amongst other things. Love of God comes before love each other for a reason. Because God knows best. He does. And the way to love God, there's so many ways. But one of the most important ways is people seem to so constantly forget or overlook. Obey Him. Obey His Son. Obey His Spirit. They are in tandem with one another. And they never contradict one another either. I promise you, if you come, you will not be disappointed. You will learn more things than you've ever thought possible about yourself and about God himself. And a lot of those things that you may feel like, you know, the what ifs that, that might cause you to doubt, they'll be alleviated the moment you're here. Because you'll see like, wow, this part of Mexico is not that bad. And for some reason, all the things that are happening in the rest of the world, they're not happening here. Why is that? I mean, don't we have proof of it already? Mm -hmm. I mean, how, how much proof can we show you that the Lord's protecting for us real. for a reason? I, I think you already know the reason, and I'm pretty sure you've already seen the proof. So what would indicate that there's a reason that you shouldn't come? I mean, I can't think of a logical reason why people wouldn't want to come here. Even if you didn't follow I the Lord. Would. Yeah, even if you didn't even know about Rael, you would see the signs and be like, wow, Baja's a great place to live. Hmm. Hurricanes go miraculously go around. Earthquakes miraculously don't disturb anything here. Right. The worst earthquake that ever happened nearby us was like 150 miles away and it was a four-pointer. Uh, exactly. Yeah. And this is California, people. Southern California. Notorious for major earthquakes. And they haven't happened here since we've been here. Five years. <laughs> Come on, people. How much proof do you need? Take a hint. We love you. We'll be here for you as long as we can, God willing, until God removes us. And when God removes us, if you're not with us, we don't know where you'll be. I hate to say it, but it's the truth.
So you better hurry up. For you and for your family. Get your butts to Baja. In the Royal's name. Amen.